everyone uh, in this uh, boring cumbersome and out of the routine longing quarantine uh, with some creativity and uh, getting busy with some academic activity uh, b square gt which is a firm uh, which has its education sector and it in collaboration with the scientific society of vm medical college sholapur is getting to you a new competition which will help you in your curriculum with the near coming examinations of the after the lockdown soon so the discussion was about organizing a anatomy model making competition the competition will will be at a massive and far professional scale soon after the lockdown ends but its preparatory phase that is phase 1 of this competition is making up small models with materials present with you at your home available with you at your home in this quarantine period with basic and very artistic and a crafty mind you can construct out beautiful models of anatomy which will help you because the theme is that when you scribble something i mean we usually practice anatomy by having the diagrams and then keep on practicing them with the color codes and get perfect but when we start creating i mean when we start manufacturing those when we start artistically preparing those models at that time we will never forget because we imagine simultaneously that if 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 you are talking about the thorax the question is uh, usually one of the important questions which is asked is what are the impressions on the left lung of the mediastinal structures or what are the impressions on the right lung of the mediastinal structures so one of them has a zygous vein as an arch other has the art of arch of aorta which is arching so what is next to it what is lateral to it what is medial to it what is anterior what is superior what is posterior all this when we construct we will never forget because we work with our imagination at the same time and for preparing such kind of models it is going to take some artistic and some scientific knowledge prior to the preparation of the model but it should be see everything what we are learning is all patient centric or diagnosis centric there must be some application of our knowledge whatever we are learning or acquiring in the medical fraternity so the basic idea is you consider some case that is applied anatomy that is say if you consider peptic ulcer of the stomach at that time you should know that for treating peptic ulcer at a higher stage of risk in future we are going to have endoscopic and least minimal invasive surgeries we are not going to open up the abdomen and uh, then we are not going to open up the abdomen and do age old traditional surgeries so we are going to do it endoscopically or if there is appendicitis we are going to do it laparoscopically so such kind of with such kind of mentality we are supposed to prepare those models and those models for example if it's a case of peptic ulcer we are supposed to prepare it from the mouth okay and then from mouth it includes the esophagus then further the cardiac part of the stomach and the main part of the stomach and the pylorus and the duodenal part initial duodenal part where the peptic ulcers or the duodenal ulcers are very much common and so when you put a scope for example then you should be able to see all the anatomy inside i don't expect or the the firm or the competition does not accept uh, uh you know a microscopic type of uh, construction of the model but it should be uh, such that you could focus on which is the part how would you see it from inside how would you see it from outside and just with the proper kind of construction we can we can get perfect with the anatomy of stomach it's simple because there's a question if you consider every clinical important scenario is an important question in your exam so such kind of examples can be very much fruitful for you for example if you are taking stomach if you are taking esophagus there could be some pipe or hose pipe at your home if you have a garden or not if not then with the help of uh, with the help of some rod or like that you can use a rod of say because the esophageal length is 25 cm you can the best material you can always use is you can take a, take paper and then wet it into water and then uh, the uh, you know the 
the material which is the semi solid material which is formed you have to adhere it along some solid surface for example if it's a pipe you adhere it along the pipe and you get a structure uh, after you after you uh, have dried it up after you have uh, kept it in the sun or in your balcony and once it is dried it becomes hard okay for example if you go to talk about lungs then simply sponge can help you sponge at home okay if sponge is not available if you don't have it to get it cut into that shape that much amount then you can simply use balloons and those balloons once you use the balloon again take this paper semi solid material with which is which you had mixed in the water and then and then you can uh, put it on the uh, you know you can put it on the a uh, balloon material and after it dries it dries up the balloon will go off but then inside but the uh, the uh, you know lung which you want to construct will be in the shape just that when it is semi solid when you are arranging it give it a proper shape so that you can have that kind of so if if someone asks you to perform bronchoscopy on that model then you should be ready that my my lungs are which i have constructed are anatomically all right okay anatomically they are near to perfect or perfect as, so as to see any of the parts i mean we cannot construct the bronchial tree the division of the bronchus and there are 20s of generations i mean that is 20s of generations in the sense 20s of levels of division in the uh, among the bronchi and all this that we cannot satisfy but then at least the external anatomy of lung can be done so simply things can be made easy funny artistic and crafty to keep them understanding and to uh, to remember and memorize them just scribbling on the paper and rectifying them rectifying them is of no use if we think it practically i mean this is one of the initiatives to make again fun in learning so if you have any other way of doing it it's most welcome for the firm as well as to the student scientific society of bm medical college but then these are some uh, artistic approaches to make fun in learning again i say it's just an example simply you can construct the abdominal structures like spleen and all if you have a lot of sponge if not you can have cloth so if you are not using some t-shirt or like that you can just roll them with your rubber bands or like that and then give them appropriate shape and put up with the semi solid paper which we have pre prepared long back, uh, by mixing it with water and such kind of models can help out very easily to understand and remember and memorize and mess which will be mesmerizing uh, i mean to understand all these types of relationships like if you say kidney then kidney what is posterior anterior all those types of relations these are all important questions and clinically they are more relevant so they are important in your university examination as well so this can be a bit of uh, you know artistic approach towards anatomy i believe and uh, so waiting for your models uh, we are planning a tentative deadline of uh, 18th of april and uh, uh, such kind of approach will be there and uh, uh, this is uh, in intimation with the departments and the college and i believe this will be a, a very good uh, learning skill sitting at home and just enjoying anatomy like uh, those who are very much artistic and like painting drawing and like like that they can make it more beautiful by painting it with skin and all these colors and uh, or there can be like say if there there are no colors right now so you can if if there is some if there are some leaves or like that if you want to color the gall bladder you can crush those leaves and use it as a paint simply things can be far much beautiful than what we usually live, imagine them or see them so i believe all of them uh, all of you will come in large numbers to enjoy this type of study pattern just sitting at home and lousily uh, being on the couch and just seeing those same 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 uh, demoralizing uh, covid 19 cases numbers all across the globe i think uh, a better option can be we enjoy it this way and it will be learning as well as fun and we can also use time so uh, for the rest of the details uh, you have a circular on a group uh, which will be coming soon and with all the details to uh, whom to submit so on 18th of april uh, that is the deadline at 5 pm 18th of april uh, before 5 pm you are supposed to video shoot your model talking about uh, your uh, case or the clinical aspect or the applied aspect of your model and then making a short video of uh, 3 to 4 minutes or maybe 5 minutes uploading it on the drive and sharing the link with the event coordinator the details and the contact details of the event coordinator who is there for your batch of 
is mentioned on the poster which will be circulated soon. So uh, looking forward for a better and artistic way of learning. Thank you.